in this video we will learn how to normalize data in PyTorch. Neural networks usually work with floating point tensors as their input. So we have to cast our tensors to floating point and normalize the values. There are two different ways. The first one is we just have to divide the values of the pixels by the maximum number in that data point. The next method is to compute the mean and standard deviation of the input data and scale it so that the output has zero mean and one standard deviation. Let's look at the formula of normalization. This is the formula to normalize our data. We have to calculate the mean and standard deviation of our data. Standard deviation is a square root of variance. So instead of calculating standard deviation, we will calculate variance and we will take the square root of variance so it will become a standard deviation for our data. Then we will subtract each data point from its mean and divide it by standard deviation so that all the values will become normalized. Let's import all the important libraries. First I am going to import CSV. The next is I am going to import torch. Then I will import numpy as np. We are going to read a CSV file using numpy and then we will convert the numpy data into a torch tensor data. This is the CSV file that I am going to use for this tutorial. I will right click on this, go to properties and copy the path of this file. This is the path. I will copy this. I will go to Jupyter Notebook. Here I will make a variable data underscore path. In this variable, I am going to store the path of our CSV file which we have just copied. And one more thing, I have to make sure that instead of one slash, I will have to use double slash. Otherwise, this code will not work. So, I will put double slash everywhere. This is the path of our data file. At the end of the path, we have to type our CSV file name. The CSV file name is winedata.csv. Here we will write winedata.csv. Let's run this line. Now I'm going to make one more variable data underscore numpy. In this variable, I'm going to read this CSV file and store the data. And I will use the method load text from our library numpy. I will say np.load text. This is the method to read our CSV file in numpy. First I will give the data path. So our path is stored in this variable data underscore path. I will write that variable name data underscore path. Then I have to type the data type. I will say my data type is going to be float32 from numpy. So I will write np.float32. The next parameter we have to use is delimiter. Since we are using a CSV file, it is a comma separated file. We will write here semicolon. And then there is one more parameter which is skip rows skip rows is equal to 1. This parameter means that in our first row we have column names and we don't want to import our column names. We only want all the rows except the row that has the column name. Let's run this line. We have successfully imported our CSV file. Let's print our variable data underscore numpy to check our data. Print data underscore numpy. In the output, we can see that all the data have come. This is the first column, this is the second column, this is the third column and so on. All the data is of NumPy. We can also check the type of our data. Type of data underscore NumPy. We got the output NumPy.nd array. ND array stands for n dimensional array. Our data is now a NumPy ND array. We are going to convert this data into a PyTorch tensor. I will make one more variable data underscore tensor. 
now i will use the method from numpy from our package torch i will say torch dot and i will call the method from numpy inside this i will pass our variable name which has data our data is stored in this variable data underscore numpy so i'm going to pass this variable name here data underscore numpy we have successfully converted our numpy data into a pytorch tensor let's print our variable data underscore tensor to check the data points print data underscore tensor now we can notice that the data has been converted into pytorch tensor and we have got the output in float we have many decimals here in our tensor data while in our numpy data we have only one decimal we can also check the type of our data let's call type of data underscore tensor we can see that this data is in format torch.tensor now we will obtain mean and standard deviation for each column let's first calculate the mean of each column i'll make a variable data underscore mean and the and in this variable i will store the mean of all the columns from our module torch i will call the method mean and inside this i will pass our variable data underscore tensor we are going to pass our tensor data and i will pass one more parameter dim is equal to zero in this case dim is equal to zero indicates that the reduction is performed along dimension zero that is mean of each column we are calculating the mean of each column let's run this line we have calculated mean of each point let's print our variable data underscore mean to check our new values print data underscore mean we can see that these are the mean of each column and we have stored all the mean in our variable data underscore mean next we are going to calculate the variance of each column I'll make one variable data underscore where in this I will store variance of each column from our module torch I will call the method variance var I'll pass our data name our data set name is data underscore tensor I'll pass dimension is equal to zero because we are going to calculate variance of each column let's run this line we have successfully calculated variance and store in the variant variable data underscore where let's print our variable data underscore where data underscore where these are the variance of each columns we have mean and variance of our data this is the mean and this is the variance now we can apply the normalization method on our tensor data first let's print our tensor data print data underscore tensor our data looks like this now after applying the normalization method it will look completely different because after applying the normalization the values comes in between minus one to one so we will see a new different values for all these data points we are going to apply the formula which we have seen this is the formula I am talking about. We will apply this formula now to get our normalized value. To normalize our data set, we need mean and standard deviation. And to calculate standard deviation, we need square root of variance. So to get standard deviation, we will take square root of variance in our formula. Let's make a new variable data underscore normalized. In this variable, I am going to store the normalized data. We will apply the formula now. We will do data underscore tensor minus data underscore mean. We are subtracting each data point from its mean. Then we will divide this with our standard deviation and the formula of standard deviation is square root of variance we will call the method square root from our module torch we will say torch dot square root 
of variance and our variance is stored in the variable data underscore where we will say data underscore where we have applied the normalized formula let's run this line we have successfully normalized our data let's check our new normalized data let's print the variable data underscore normalized In the output, we can see that these are the normalized values and these values will be between minus 1 to 1. This is how we can normalize our data in PyTorch. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.